After the last week, um, like I say, for the for the tiny bit that we had it, everyone goes a bit crazy in the sun, and uh, you see the people down the beach. There's a tiny bit of sun about that big, and all the clothes come off. Yeah. It's, a, it's a little bit grim, but you know we couldn't bear it. We couldn't bear it. But um, yeah, so. So exciting things going on. Uh, me and my partner, we uh, bought a new Hoover the other day. Um, you know you get to that point in your life when you get excited about buying a Hoover. I say we bought the Hoover. She said, we need a new Hoover. I said, no we don't. So we got a new Hoover. That's uh, generally how it goes. And, and the reason we got a new Hoover was because we then, because we've now got a cat that I'm allergic to. Same story. We need to get a cat. No we don't. So we got a cat. And I'm sure she's trying to kill me, because I'm sure the week before I heard her say asking about life insurance before we got the cat. But, um, and then she goes, oh, you know, we need a new Hoover, we need a new Hoover, because this one's better. I was like, what's wrong with the Hoover that we bought a year ago? No, 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 this one, it sucks up hair better. It's like, it's hair. It's not holding onto the carpet. Like, I'm sure the Hoover we've got now is more than adequate. But no, 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 so we get this new Hoover, and it turns up, and then she, <laughs> she goes to me, she gets it out of the box, and she goes, oh... Oh, I want to try the Hoover out now, but it'd be the day that we cleaned up. So she goes, oh, but there's nothing to Hoover. I said, what did you just say? I want to clean up, I want to try the Hoover out, but there's nothing to Hoover. If there's nothing to Hoover, why do we have a new Hoover? Doesn't make any sense to me at all. Yeah, you can smile, but you know it's true. <laughs> and uh, some news as well, that they, the Royals had a, another baby, didn't they? That's... Uh, did they? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I've lost count how many they've had now, to be honest. Like, they're the typical like council estate family, aren't they? Like, they're all on benefits. None of them have got a proper job, and they're just popping out kids left, right, and centre. It's ridiculous. All of them. They all need to go down the job centre and sign on, in my opinion. But um... <laughs> but yeah, so like I say, exciting times in there. My partner the other day, she watched, I've never seen it, but she watched The Notebook for the first time. And uh, obviously, uh, I'm assuming like you're meant to cry at them sort of films. And say to her, oh, did you cry then? Because she cries at trees. And, uh, and I go, oh, did you cry? And she goes, oh, no, I didn't cry because I felt the pressure that, to cry. So I didn't. I was like, what? Yeah, no, I, I felt pressure to cry. It's like peer pressure. Like kids are going around the back of the school, all peer pressure each other to cry. Like they're doing having smoking fags. And I was like, what do you mean? You were... You were pressured to cry so you didn't. She's like, I oh, know. This is this is from a woman, right? We were driving one day to her parents' house. You cover your face. We were driving to her parents' house and the red arrows are flying over us. By the way, just quickly, like, is there less because I looked this up, they're like they're a military outfit. Is there anything less terrifying in war than having the red arrows flying over you? Literally, all they do is Oh, quick lads, let's find formation and blow red smoke out of our ass. It's like, it's the equivalent if we sent ballerinas into war, oh, just holding flares. It would just be like, that's, that's the equivalent of them just doing that with a flare. That's, that's all it is. But she, we drive fast and she's just going overhead. And she just starts, <laughs> just starts welling up. I'm just like, you all right? I'm like, what's going on? And then she's just crying at the red arrows just flying over. Like, I was like, I'm pretty sure someone's going to find me in five days dead in the ditch because you're mental. Like, who cries at that? Like, when she got home once, she goes to me, oh, I cried today in the car. I was like, all oh, right, what happened? Like, did you run something over? Did you hit something? Did you actually do something? No, 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 I was following this police car. And, uh, <clears throat> and um, it, it was following these people that had broken down. I was like, all oh, right, like, was it a bad accident? It was like, some, did someone die? No, no, it's... It was just a really nice thing for the police to do. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, all right, yeah. I'll, don't worry about these suitcases. I'm just gonna. You won't see me for a couple of weeks, but don't worry about it. But no, I'll, t I'll take the mic. I'll take the mic. But she's she's very supportive. Like it's like when I said about doing stand up. She goes, oh, you should do stand up. I said, no, I don't want to do stand up. <laughs> anyway, my name's Josh Dale. Thanks very much. Yay!